Are you wondering, can you really make money growing and selling cut flowers? Well, friends, stick around for the truth from a flower farmer with over two decades of experience. Whether you dream of being a flower farmer or you just want to grow flowers for your kitchen table, I'm Lisa Mason Ziegler, and I grew cut flowers commercially for nearly 25 years. Now, as an author and online course instructor, I hope to inspire the next generation of growers. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. Have you heard that growing flowers is one of the most profitable crops to grow? Well, how profitable is flower farming really? Well, first, we know that to make a profit, you have to spend less than you earn, right? Well, that is harder than it seems, and especially when you are first starting out. Now, if you play your cards right, you can make a lot of money. For example, one year I grew and sold enough sunflowers to buy myself a new tractor. And that was just one of many flowers that I was growing. So are you ready to hear my tips for maximizing your profits as a cut flower grower? Number one, focus on high profit flower crops. So starting anything from seed is gonna have the lowest upfront costs. Starting with warm season annual seeds are the easiest and have the broadest appeal. Seeds like sunflowers, zinnias, and celosia. Compared to perennials, bulbs, and woodies have a much higher investment they may take years to get established and they typically have a much shorter blooming time. They also will require a more skill to grow, maintain, and harvest those crops. Number two, keep your fixed costs low. Costs like a mortgage or property lease are not gonna change no matter how many flowers you produce. Fortunately, with flower farming, you don't need tons of space to produce high volume crops. I produced thousands of stems of flowers per week on just a half acre. With flower farming, you can keep fixed costs low compared to other types of farming. Number three, educate yourself in farming and in business. Your level of knowledge and expertise matters. Expanding your knowledge with education in both farming and in business will put you on the fast track to profitability and saving you from making costly mistakes. From there, everyone learns how to produce the best results and be the most efficient in their situation. The time you spend gaining knowledge should be considered an investment one that pays off with better profitability in the long run. Number four, run the numbers and always evaluate labor costs versus yield. Your time is valuable. When it comes to labor, time is truly money. Did I need a tractor? Technically, no. However, I ran the numbers and I could grow and sell so many more flowers if I had a tractor. Now that tractor helps me to save labor um, in other aspects of the farm as well. So keep in mind that a big investment can lead to greater yields, but even greater profitability. But you have to run the numbers to figure that out. What's the bottom line? Profitability is unique to you and your farm. While flower farmers across the U.S. are reporting average sales of $25,000 to $30,000 per acre, we know that 100% depends on the market they're selling into, the region, and the skill set of that grower. For example, farmer florists can get the highest revenue per stem for their design and wedding work but also face the highest labor and supply costs as well. In contrast, growers wholesaling to florists potentially have lower revenue per stem, but they face far less labor and supply costs as well. In the end, every farmer is in a very unique situation with different costs, 
different knowledge and expertise, different labor and material resources, different selling outlets, and the list goes on and on. What ultimately determines your level of profitability is how well you manage all these variables over time and whether you stick to the routine of making profitability a part of every decision. So, can you really make money growing and selling cut flowers? The truth is, it's up to you. Okay, so those are my top tips for a profitable flower farming business. I hope that they've inspired you to take profitability seriously and to always consider it when making decisions for your business. I wish you loads of success with your flower farming business. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more flower growing tips. For more from me and my team at the Gardener's Workshop, I'll put the links to my website and social below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.